profit, loss and unitary method. In the previous classes, we have read about money. We need money to buy things. Indian money is found in the form of rupees and paise. Also, we have coins and notes. Notes and coins are found in the different denominations. Mr. Agarwal is a shopkeeper. He buys and sells things to earn his livelihood. Do you know how does a shopkeeper earn money? Shopkeeper buys things from a wholesaler. After buying things from a wholesaler, the shopkeeper sells these things to a customer usually at a higher price. Generally, a shopkeeper sells his articles at a higher price than the cost price. In this case, he earns a profit. So, in case of profit, selling price or SP is greater than cost price or the CP. In this case, the difference between SP and CP is called profit. So, profit is equal to SP minus CP. There are instances when a shopkeeper is forced to sell his articles at a lower price than its cost price. In this case, he suffers a loss. So, in case of loss, SP is less than CP. In this case, the difference between CP and SP is called loss. So, loss is equal to CP minus SP. One day, Mr. Agarwal bought an Almira from a wholesaler for rupees 8500 he spent rupees 150 on its transportation the amount spent on transportation labor repairs etc are called overhead charges it means the total amount spent by mr agarwal to buy this almira is rupees 8500 plus 150 that is rupees 8650. So, cost price of the Almira for Mr. Agarwal is rupees 8650. It means to find the final cost price of an article, overhead charges are added to the amount at which the article is bought. Do you know what happens when a shopkeeper sells an article at the same price at which it was bought? Obviously, in this case, the shopkeeper neither gains nor loses. We use the following relationships to find CP, SP, profit or loss. In case of profit, SP is equal to CP plus profit. CP is equal to SP minus profit. Profit is equal to SP minus CP. In case of loss, SP is equal to CP minus loss. CP is equal to SP plus loss. Loss is equal to CP minus SP. Consider the given example. Sanjeev bought a dining table for Rs. 4,350. He spent Rs. 250 in its transportation. After two weeks, he sold it to Rajiv, making a profit of Rs. 400. Find the selling price of the table. Here, we first find the actual CP of the table. To do so, we add the overhead charges to its price. Since there is a profit in this transaction, so to get the selling price, we add the profit to the CP. One day, Rajni went to a bookseller to buy two pencils. 
The shopkeeper told her the cost of one dozen or twelve pencils is forty-eight. But Rajni wanted to know the cost of only two pencils. She got confused. In our daily life, we come across such situations quite often. To deal with such situations, we first find the cost of one item. So, cost of twelve pencils is equal to rupees forty-eight. It means cost of one pencil is equal to rupees forty-eight divided by twelve. That is rupees four. So, cost of two pencils is equal to rupees four into two, which is equal to rupees eight. To find the cost of one item, we divide. Using the cost of one item, we find the cost of required number of items by multiplying. So, cost of two pencils is equal to rupees four multiplied by two, which is rupees eight. This method, in which we first find the value of one unit and then the value of required number of items, is called unitary method. To find the value of one item, we divide the value of given number of items by the total number of items. To find the value of any number of items, we multiply the value of one item by the number of items. Here, note that to get less, we divide, and to get more, we multiply. Consider this example. A bus covers hundred and eighty kilometers in five hours. How much distance will it cover in three hours? Here first, we will find the distance covered by the bus in one hour. To do so, we divide hundred and eighty by five. Then we will find the distance covered by the bus in three hours. To do so, we multiply thirty-six by three. So distance covered by the bus in three hours is equal to thirty-six into three, that is hundred and eight kilometers.